I was able to move in 2022. I was able to heal myself in 2022. I was able to love myself more. But this year was a little bit different because, but when I actually need help, I'm starting to speak up and say I need help, shit. To my channel Ooh, how y'all doing <laughs> yes we is back with another video <laughs> okay we are doing a recap about 2022 talking about some goals that i'm setting or have set for myself for 2023 and just an overall outlook of how the year is destined to go god's willing so first and foremost i wanted to just do a recap first of 2022 this is my first video for 2023, so I wanted to come out with something where I was able to kind of like reflect a little bit and then also talk about things that I know I want to do for this upcoming year. So 2022, y'all, it's so crazy because I don't remember like all of the goals that I had set in the beginning of the year, but I knew that my major goal was to move. That was something that I knew I wanted to do in 2022, which I feel so accomplished with doing. It's so crazy because I just hit the six month mark here living in Houston. So it's wild to me that last New Year's I was in a whole different state with my family. And now this New Year's I spent it here in a whole nother state without my family. So it's wild to me, but I'm excited about it because I knew that it was something that I wanted to do. Another thing too, with 2022 y'all, I kind of went, I wouldn't say I went through a whole lot, I didn't go through a whole lot. In the beginning of the year, it was a little rocky for me, for sure. Especially emotionally, just dealing with stuff that I ain't had no business dealing with, you know what I'm saying? So, it was kind of rocky for me in the beginning of the new year for 2022. But by like around my birthday time or after my birthday time, it became a little better for me because I kind of shifted my gears a little bit with my mindset and how I started to care more about myself and just handle myself completely different and that opted for me to be able to remove people out of my life that didn't need to be in my life that may have been bringing negativity to my life so it was kind of like a reflection moment for me in 2022 i can definitely say that that was the year where i stepped more into a more confident self-aware and just loving myself more. So I had put myself on certain restrictions with shit in 2022, like I said, in the middle of the year. And when I started to do that, it was like things just started to turn in a positive way for me. And things just started happening the way that it was supposed to happen. It's like, I don't mean to sound cliche, y'all, but when it's time to remove certain things out your life, it gotta make way for the new shit, I'm just saying. So I was able to move in 2022. I was able to heal myself in 2022. I I was able to love myself more and I found myself being a little more excited about my day-to-day -day life like I was in the routine of kind of just feeling a little down uh, living where I used to live and I don't mean to say it like I'm trying to bash where I used to live but I knew that that wasn't where I wanted to be so my days waking up now are completely different than my days waking up last year I was able to get a car in 2022 wait was that yeah 2022 uh, if y'all know already I did a video about a few months back when I first moved to Houston where I talked about the fact that I didn't have a car for a long time that nobody knew about but I was able to get a car in 2022. I was able to get a promotion in 2022. I was able to move to a whole nother state. I was able to heal myself. I was able to just, I, I guess in a way, I didn't even, you know what's so crazy? It's like, you don't even be noticing when things is really happening. It just feel like it's right. So it's like now sitting down, talking about it and reflecting on it. It's like, dang, I did do that. Dang, that did happen. That it's different when it's going on. It's like, okay, you know you're going towards it, but it's like when it actually happened, it feel like it's supposed to happen. Like I'm grateful, but it's like, you don't really feel it until you sit back and really think like, damn, all that happened? Because in my mind, I'm so focused on like my YouTube channel and growth like that versus like my personal life. So when I see where I didn't reach goals with like YouTube, it made me think like, oh, I didn't reach some goals that I really wanted to reach. But when I think about it in my personal life, like a bitch blew up, like for real. <laughs> Stepping into this new year, y'all, I just feel so 
confident. When I say I feel like this year is going to be gold, it's like I even knew, and it sounds so cliche, everybody said when it, when it, when it turned into day one of the new year, it's like you just feel something. No, y'all, I really felt something on New Year's. I'm like, yo, this is gonna be a good year. I feel it in me. Like I'm, I'm willing to put the work in. I'm healed. I'm happy. I'm where I want to be. Like this is the first year that I'm gonna really be living in Houston. Like, granted, I moved here six months ago, but this is the top of the year for a whole year here and ongoing. So it's like, wow, I just can't wait to see what the hell is gonna happen. Like I'm excited about it. And work is cool, you know, work is not as stressful as it used to be. So that's another thing that's helpful for this year. So let's step into more so of my goals for this year. First of all, y'all, I'm so excited because this is the first year that I mean, uh, no, I haven't made a dig I haven't made a vision board, y'all, in years, in a long time. And you know what's so crazy, y'all? The type of person I am, like, I don't really be into the whole um, vision board thing, like the paper format. Like, I get the purpose of it. I really do. It's like you see it. Okay, cool. But I'm not one of those type of people. I'm one of those type of people where I'm just gonna do it. Like, I know what the ultimate goals are for me. So as long as I'm doing something towards the ultimate goal every day, then I'm cool. I don't need a big paper or, and this is no shade to people that do it, it just doesn't work for me. A big poster board just hanging on the wall, like I'm cool on that, right? So I haven't did a vision board in a while. And when I first did one, I noticed that year that it didn't really work for me. I was like, this is kind of like something that I feel like I'm doing just because people say you're supposed to make a vision board in the beginning of the year, right? But this year was a little bit different because my friend, <laughs> my guy friend, he was like, you know, I think that we should do digital vision boards for this year, which is what I did on New Year's. Well, New Year's, the day after New Year's. But anyway, point in my is we did it for New Year's, right? And I actually enjoyed that. It was way more tapping into my creative side. Like I didn't feel like I had to go out and look for magazines and cut out paper and post it. And I didn't feel like I had to do that. It was like more, y'all know with me creating my own thumbnails. And I'm, I think I'm a very creative kind of person. And there takes it takes some creativity to create a vision board on paper, but it's different when you're doing it on a computer and I'm used to doing and creating on a computer. So it felt more like in my zone, you know what I'm saying? So the fact that he was willing to like do it with me and we did it together, it was even more dope. Like, I don't know, it was just different. So I did do a digital vision board, I did it on Canva. And it just was, it, it felt so much better. I don't know why, and it could just be one, on top of the fact that it was digital, two, on top of the fact that it was with somebody that I didn't mind having that moment with and just feeling so strong and determined when I was creating it about the stuff that I was putting on it. You know what I mean? Can y'all see it? Okay, 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 okay. You might can't really see it that much because it is portrait, but we actually created it landscape on Canva. So if y'all are not really into like the traditional kind of vision boards, do a digital vision board y'all on Canva. It, it, it's completely different for me anyway. And he told me, he said that it's his screensaver on his laptop, which I did last night as well. So now when I open my computer, I open my phone, I'm seeing it every single day versus a paper. Like I, I just didn't care to do that. But that was exciting. So I can share a few things from my vision board, such as I know for sure I had on there and I want to guys will reach 50,000 subscribers this year. Whoo child. That's a big goal. That's a big goal, but I'm willing to put the work in. I'm willing to put the work in. So I want to reach 50,000 subscribers on YouTube this year. By the end of the year, I have to be at 50,000 y'all. So I want to, like I said, step away from my nine to five and fully be able to commit and do full-time um, YouTube and you know just content creation in general. Another thing is getting my podcast back up and running. And once I am able to kind of like get the furniture and everything in my apartment, y'all, that is not easy, but anyway. Once I start doing that, it'll kind of make me feel more at home to be able to create more with my podcast because I want more of like a comfortable kind of feeling vibe, like cozy. And then last but not least, y'all, I can share with y'all that I do wanna start being more vocal about when I actually need help. That's like a whole nother conversation, but 
Just a brief overview of that, y'all. I have a really, really, really hard time asking people for help. And it's not like I have too much pride. It's not that. It's just that I want to just do it on my own. I want to just do it. I just want to get it done. I want to feel like I know it's going to get done because I did it. I made sure I did it. So it's not a prideful thing. It's just a security thing. But I'm tired. <laughs> Y'all, your girl is tired. I'm still willing to put the work in. But when I actually need help, I'm starting to speak up and say I need help. Shit. A few things that I just know in general that I want to do anyway is continue, you know, with eating healthy and fitness and taking that more seriously, kind of cutting back on eating out so much like Chipotle and Ch Chick-fil-A. No shade. No shade, but I got to do better. <laughs> I got to do better. So... That's pretty much it as far as some goals for this year. Um, being more disciplined for sure, trying to map my content out better. I have more days planned out, video ideas planned out. So y'all can let me know what kind of videos y'all wanna see from me. I know y'all been enjoying the vlogs, but I don't only just wanna do vlogs, you know what I'm saying? I wanna be able to create content like this and then create content that's more fun and you know what I'm saying? Like just stuff that get people going, gets the people going. <laughs> anyway, let me know in the comments below how y'all feel about this year. Are y'all feeling confident about this year? What is one thing that you know you want to achieve this year, a goal that you want to achieve this year, and stand on it? Like, for real. We got to stand on the ten toes, y'all. And this is not just for 2023. This is for ongoing, but we have to start from somewhere. So, if you like the video, y'all, give me a thumbs up. If you do not like the video, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate y'all for clicking on that video. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.